just uh, getting ready for his professional debut and Dennis Doyley only one fight for him so these are two novices but Bendor was an outstanding amateur who was a bit unlucky not to get to an Olympic Games Box for England last year in the European Championships he also won a bronze medal in the Liverpool multi nations Southpaw and appearing here after being out of the ring for 12 months after suffering horrible injuries in an unprovoked knife attack on the streets of Coventry. He needed 100 stitches in his face after that. And thank goodness he's uh, made a full and complete recovery. Interesting to see just what inroads he can make in the professional middleweight division. He'll be a bit nervous, won't he, Glenn? He will be. He'll be a, a lot nervous. It's a very big step. Although he's you know, quite experienced in the amateurs, it's a big step when you make a professional debut. And although Doyle's only had one, he'll still see that as he's in with a more experienced man. <laughs> Doyle, just the one fight so far. He stopped Gary Rainier's in the second round. Well, that was a cuts stoppage. Well, already we can see that Bendel's the, the sharper puncher. He's landing with, well with the, the southpaw jab, and occasionally that the left cross looks nice and sharp. Doyley comes from Ilford in Essex. He's an accounts manager for a gas company. May need the money with this windfall tax the government are planning. <laughs> Good southpaw jab again. And the left hand was quite handy too from Bendor, who settled quite well. As you can see, he's just starting to, you can see he's getting a little bit of confidence, starting to let a few more punches go now, just fancying the job a little bit more. Bendor from Coventry, which is staging a bit of a revival as a boxing base. Of course, they have the very promising featherweight Dean Pithy as well. And Randolph Turpin didn't come from too far away. Lemington Spa, the man who beat Sugar Ray Robinson all those years ago. Well, good left hands this time as well. He's south four lefts from Bendel beginning to find his target with ominous regularity as far as Doyley is concerned. Yes, he's looking nice and sharp, getting through with the, the left hand three times there, all three landed, and they look hurtful punches. Now, a very good opening round in the paid ranks for Stephen Bendel, the 23-year-old from Coventry. And he'll feel better for that. He'll feel a, a lot better. It's always a big, big moment just to get that first round of your professional career out the way. He started nice and well. Nice sharp punches there. There's a good right hand early in the round. And he, he got the, the left hand going well. You're in land with some good punches. Nice variety. There's the, the left hook, which was a good punch. You see, he just stopped Doyle in his tracks a little bit there. A little stammer of the legs. So that's a good start. They'll be very pleased with that in the corner. He's with the Chris Sanagar camp. He's only been with them for about five weeks. Bendall, but uh, you see there how many punches he landed. 25 to 6 in that opening round. Round two. Second round. The blue trunks of the debutant, Stephen Bendall. Never won an ABA title. David Starry was one of those who blocked his way and his ambitions in that direction. He also got stopped in a round by Wayne Alexander in the 1994 championships. But very successful in the unpaid ranks, Bendel.
heads coming a bit dangerously close together and occasionally Doily rather lunging in head first. There's a big danger of there being a clash of heads and a cut because of that. Oh, is another left and a right hand, and that might be that. And it's stopped without a count by referee Larry O'Connell. And that was the right decision. Oh, what a finish by Pendle. Left hand, right hand combination. Doyley did not know what had hit him. And in the second round, Stephen Pendle makes about as good a professional debut as he could have dreamt. Yes, he'd be very happy with that. You could see he had the advantage of speed and he made that play. You could see he got a, a little bit more confident in the second round and just decided to stand and, and trade and a good two punches landed. And that was all it needed. A real nice crisp combination. There's the, the left and then come back with the right hook and face first into the canvas, Doyle. He was the referee was right just to signal off there and then he was looking very distressed at that point. Two very good punches. Yes, I don't think Doyley really would have beaten a count of half a minute, let alone 10 seconds, had Larry O'Connell chose to count, which he didn't. There's no need for that. It was clearly the end of the argument. Quite impressive from Bendel. Obviously, there are much, much bigger tests ahead for him, but uh, just about the perfect start. Yes, he'd be very happy with that. Two good punches. You can see from his amateur pedigree, he's obviously got a good deal of form and you know he'd leave some good jabs some nice combinations he'd be very happy with that it's a very good start to his professional career ladies and gentlemen after 57 seconds of a round two the referee stops the contest the winner by technical knockout making his professional debut steve Bendel. Well done to Steve Bendel. Very good style. He's obviously sold a few tickets here as well. That will endear him to the promoters. And uh, let's hope Dennis Doyley is OK after that. It was a pretty bad knockout for him. Thanks to Glenn and to Ian at ringside just for the moment. Well, you heard the...